artists with, with numbers ever since we started the awards 12 years ago. AKA has never been nominated for Best Lyricist. AKA has never, um, Casper has never been nominated for Best Lyricist. We don't care how, how many platinums or how much numbers, views, and streams you have. Mm, mm. But that has nothing to do with, with your with, with pen game, pen with game, lyricism. With, when, when it comes to lyricists of the year, we look, we, we look at the lyrics. Gift, why you gotta send me? Just money? hit a button, Morty. Give me a beat. Oh man, okay, alright, cool. Yeah, take it. Look, Sam, so based on my stance. <laughs> Most of these rappers rhyme trash while my clan use phones instead of mic stands. I'm proud to say that I did it with my hands and I give thanks to every single one of my five fans on many things. Depending on what the weather brings occasionally, I still do the club and anything I'm nice on a passion. The style is never rushing. Plus with a double rhyme scheme, I'm disgusting. Great, great. Straight fire the outcome. Club come standard, I'm great. Why is the out one? I'll flow on the track, yeah, I'm that black and the king. Put the game to its knees, it's a rap cap and thing, they can't stand me. And my rap chap in the shank, they own praises to bring, that fact to the ring. I told you I'm young Mike, I swing in the land hard. I'm king of the vanguards, I've been on my damn job. So without a round of applause, what a Britain is handsome. This sick incredible quotes, man, a better can handsome. Ali Yassum from the ropes before the bell rung. Double syllable spitting it like I got a spare tongue, no cap. Rhyme and reason is a balancing act. You gotta have the right rhythm scale and flaps with the facts. It's classic. Let me show love to all my five fans and the looking bar glass. Yo, shout outs to Gates Black. You know I see you, man. A provider of medicine. My five fans know that a glow brighter than Edison. Thinking the most half blessed them. Cause on the beat, there's no trying to effort. A dope rhyme, and it never got co signs for veterans. Both fire and better. My whole father, Renaissance, and soul tried to get better and grow. After several goals, I'm not attracted more than 70 shows. Yeah. Ooh, so Got five fans, damn. Yo, win it, fam. I just want my records to spin like ceiling fans. He gets stoned on my throne, peasants kneeling to Dan. Raps Nigerian scam, revealing his plan. Shakespearean, big five, rep the elements. Rhino, buffalo, lion, leopard, elephant. At least I know my five fans are intelligent. Dope is in the dope. Respect I can never keep my horse right. My brain cells can cause riots, sparking turbulence, enabling my voice to form giants on my own science. There's a chemistry of physics, my telepathy is lyrics, rhyming recipe for realists, arsenic boy. Turning crazy, boss, baby, boy, I ramp up off the balcony. Anger is my latest toy, and play with it. I've been a rocker since the days, get it? I don't fear the cops like Johnny Cochran and OG, get it? I know you ride in the other Welcome to the Masterclass Podcast, episode 107. We back at it, like crack at it, like yeah. OG would say. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? I'm good, dog. Episode 107. Yeah, yeah. Another milestone reached by the Masterclass. Big shout out to all the students. Yeah, we're still here. Welcome back to us. You know, had to take a break. Yeah, dog. Too much hip hop. Yeah. We've been hip hopping, yeah? It was still hip hop because I was busy handling back to the city situation. Yeah, and the yo. Master class hip hop Sundays. Hey, so yo. You can't run away from hip hop. We've done a lot between the last time we shot episode 106 and into 107. So a uh, big shout out to everybody who's tuned in from the last episode till today. There's so much hip hop. 
to be hip topped and for us to talk about, dog. I think there's a lot that's happened between the past three, four weeks. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. I don't even know where we should start. If you want to start, who pissed you off? Who did I piss off? Who did you piss off? You know? I know. I don't, I, nobody pissed me off, but somehow I always piss people off. I don't <laughs> know. You know, they like, every time I say something good and sweet, somebody will take offense. Yeah, of course. There's nothing good and sweet out of your mouth, nigga. Yeah. What you, 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 there's nothing sweet about I'm you, sweet Rashid. I'm a sweet dude. I'm a sweet dude. <laughs> sweet, Big shout out. Su- sweet, sweet rhymes with shit. Fuck, what? Sheed. And that's the problem. See, that, <laughs> that is the problem right there, right there. Yo, big shout out to M Studios. Yo, they're looking so pretty right now. They are clean. Uh, we back at it like crack addicts. You know what time it is. Masterclass podcast. Uh, Sheed. Yeah, yeah. A lot has happened, like I said, man. Uh, I think, should I start? I'll start with what, what's been bothering me, what's been on my mind. What's been bothering what I've been you? thinking about. And I think I just need to... Because I didn't want to address it on Twitter. I think I, I need to address it on my podcast, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, into, our, into our class for today, I'm not going to go into class right now, but it's, it's something that I'll touch on a bit later in detail, in more detail. But um, uh, I've been going to a lot of up-and-coming artists, gigs, events, listening sessions, uh, just anything that the up-and-coming artists that are known in the game, not Abo Spiwe. Yeah, like yeah. people that are known in the game. I won't mention names now, maybe later. If when do you stop being an up and coming artist? When you start selling records, dog. Yeah. As soon as you start selling records, selling records, you, you, I think you come up stops. As long as you're still just doing it. What are you saying about the industry? Because there's less than 10 artists that are selling records. Then they're still on their come up then. Okay. And that's another conversation we can have later, right? Yeah. But that's how I feel about it. I feel like if you haven't popped, you know, until you pop, you must still be on your come up. Like, there's no point on being off your come up if you haven't come up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Word. So I tweeted some shit about how come up up and coming rappers that I've been bumping into and seeing at their, at their sessions and the, at their events, how they're acting too fresh on their own fans. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to figure out if it's a problem for fans to critique their favorite artist's music. You know what I mean? If I'm a fan of you, can I not say when you drop some trash ass shit? Of course you can. Of I, I'm course, sh- I should of course be one. Right? Of course you can. Especially when you, 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 you're a supporting fan, you're a buying fan, you have a right to comment on your money and Word. say, I'm not happy with this shit that I bought. But now, is it okay for the artist to get touched though? Because the artist doesn't know me, right? I'm just a fan, so artists if I will say, always, yo, that was a shit uh, album. Artists will always get touched because music is, is a personal thing. It's very intimate. You know, you, you might have like gone through months working on this song from the beat to the writing to the recording to the mixing and the mastering and somebody listens for three minutes and say, trash. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I understand why they take offense. Yeah, because it's like, I don't know you. Who are you? Do you yeah. even have a space to talk about hip hop? You know, and, and, and most of the time people expect artists to sound like someone else. Okay. If you come up with something that's not familiar, that's automatically trash. Not good. Because it doesn't sound like Drake, it doesn't sound like Nasty, it doesn't sound like Reese. Anything out of that yeah. is trash. You know what I want to bring it to, right? Yeah. Especially with the fan conversation. Yeah. Besides uh, the, the trash talk, right? Mm. Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Right? Doja Cat told all of her fans shit. You know, told her fans that, yo, like, I'm just a human being. Like, don't fuck with me like that. Like, you know, I'm just... And if you don't fuck with me, then you can fuck off. And, she, and a lot and of them she went left. on to drop album of the year. She dropped a, a fire yeah, ass album is beautiful. A fire ass joint. Is, is, yeah. it, is, is she wrong for saying that the fans can't say shit about her music? Or, or who she is as a human being in general? So if I'm like, yo, I don't like Casper, he's too rich, fuck that. That Even has nothing like to do music. with his music. If you, you don't like him for being wealthy, you're hating. But can you, I comment on it as a fan? Let's say I'm a fan of Cass. I uh, just no, don't you, like you the fact that he's rich. You can't comment on people's personal lives, especially people you don't know like that. You okay. Know? okay. Yeah. But I can comment the music, on the music. The, the music uh, 
it's fine because it's it's on the public domain. It's on the public platform. You know, it's 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 public access. Yeah. You know, but when you come to my personal life, word, and then you you're crossing the line. Is this crossing the line, right? So if I say Rashid, I'm a huge fan of you, Doug, and I feel like the music you're dropping right now is shit. I see you be walking around rocking your own t-shirts and Adidas top to bottom, trying to be fresh, but you ain't even got no that's dope cool, music. That's cool. You ain't even you, got nothing dope, son. Cause, cause you, can I say that as your fan? Yes, you can. You, because you're commenting on something that I put out for the public to consume. You know, some will like it, some won't, and you you'll get compliments and you'll get criticism. Yeah. You must be able to take don't 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 like take compliments and frown upon criticism. People don't relate the same way, you know. No, no, no artist in, in the history of music was loved by everyone. Okay. Even, 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 even Michael Jackson with like six billion people on earth back then, he couldn't sell 100 million because not everyone loved Michael Jackson. So don't that. fool yourself and think everyone is going to love you. But your fans, though, you know what I mean? Even if we do love your you. Your fans, yes. Your fans, your, your fans are true. Are true. Patreons to, 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 of your to, shit. To, 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 to their comments. Word. You, you know, if, if, if I'm a Nas fan and I'm saying I, this Nas album is trash, that comes from a good place, not from a hater. Yeah. But as an artist, you don't know your true fans. You don't know if this guy is a true fan or it's just it's a, a uh, shit. Yeah, it's just a troll. It's mm. just a hater. So, cause you don't have a list of your true fans. Damn. You know? So, so now who's? So how does the artist adjust to that? So the, the artist should be able to take critique from anybody. Yes. N fan or no fan. Fan or no fan. If I say I don't like this shit, you should think about it. it, it you must, you must think that if this guy says he doesn't like my music, it means he took some time to listen to it. Facts. And then th he decided that he doesn't that he like That he doesn't fuck with Yeah, it. you can't say you don't like something you've never heard. Mm, I hear you. The bottom line if, for me with this conversation, I just wanted artists and fans to know that the fan has every single right to comment on your music. Yeah, and, and you don't have, you don't have like... I hear, I hear this all the time, like, OG, oh, you're not making music, you don't have a right. You see soccer fans all the time saying, hey, that player is trash. Hey, Kaiser Chiefs, these pirates, these sundowns, that. They never played football, they professional know. football but in their lives. Word. So it's, that shit is bullshit to say because you've never made music, because you've never played so Nah. I know a lot it of niggas. Doesn't, it doesn't work like that. They might have even consumed it more than somebody you, who plays the game. You, 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 we've had, we, we've had a, a, a World Cup winning coach from Brazil who, who never played professional Football, soccer. Football, though. In, in UEFA, in Europe, you have a Champions League winning coaches that never played you can't, so you can't use that and say because you've never played soccer, because you've never made music, you don't have a no word. Like if that was the case, then a nigga like Robert Marawa wouldn't matter, right? You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Niggas out here talking DC every day. But he's got the like, he's he's got the knowledge. He consumes the sport. Yes. So if I consume the sport and I pay for it and I spend my own you damn need to money be, on it, you need to be. I should be able to talk about it. You need to it. be a student of the game. Yeah. So fuck y'all who said that I should. I'm joking. I'm joking. Playing games, yo. But that's how I felt about it. Yo, whoever was upset with my tweets at the time. Yeah. Um, if the shoe fits, wear it. If it doesn't, no stress. But what I'm saying is that don't be too cool for your fans, yo. We loved you from the first time we saw your ass with nobody in studio bumping your shit. We were the ones buying it. So when you drop some whack ass shit, we were going to say something about your whack music. Because we know where you come from. We are the only ones who are allowed to comment on this shit. Don't tell me that a successful rapper needs to tell you how to be successful. And that's where I'll leave that uh, yeah. fucking thing. I want to talk about... I want to talk about... The BET Awards. AKA, Which ones? One AKA this, this won an award. This, this, the, the, the recent yeah, one. Yeah, the, 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 the recent ones. Okay. AKA won an award. International Vision Global. I global, saw that. Global yeah, Visionary. visionary award. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Do you think he was going to win that if he was alive or it's just a sympathy PT award? We've spoken about this before. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I, Doug. 
I said this shit as soon as R.I.P. Mega. Yeah. As soon as Mega passed away, I said, watch him get all the fucking love and all the flowers and all the accolades, not just here in South Africa, but like all over the world. Yeah. Because he's no longer here. If that nigga was here, I do not think they were going to give him no visionary nothing. I think so too. I think so. Shout out to him. Shout out to Cairo for collecting that award. But nah. I don't think if AKA was here was gonna was, was gonna it's, get it's, that. And you how, know, and how do you saying, feel about it? How do you feel about it? I feel like the 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 category that matters is the in, the best international act for us. A, 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 and Which is a, also no no no, no 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 for for whoever that's alive. And that was won by Banner Boy. That's where AKA was supposed to be competing. Not on visionary. Not on visionary, nah. like a made-up award. Especially with the album that he dropped, dog. I, I honestly felt like they would have put him in the category. Like I said to you, dog, the posthumous yeah. thing is a real, it's a real, it's a real, I don't know if it's a, just a hip-hop thing, but as soon as somebody passes away, we feel the need to say that he was dope. Yeah. But when he was around. Because, okay, like, as Africans, we don't speak ill of the dead. What? Like that that's an African thing. But that's a you different You don't speak you don't speak ill of the dead. That's different though. There's a difference between Yeah, no one like speaking. go go to any African funeral, you'll never hear they'll, they'll they'll talk good shit about a criminal, about a murderer. Nobody's gonna say, I this shit this, this nigga was a piece of shit, it deserved to die. No, you don't speak ill of the dead. Whew, it's a different one when it comes to what we're talking about, you know. What no, I mean? but I'm saying it, it goes beyond. It goes beyond, you know. That's so why there's, there's Ubuntu. That's why, yeah. That's why there's, there's, there's sympathy. There's pity. There's but okay, cool. all these things. Yeah. Let, let's play devil, devil's advocate on this one, right? Yeah. Let's say it wasn't a sympathy vote, right? What would then warrant an AKA to be in a category like that, especially? Why is it that we've never seen anyone else win that award? That's why I'm saying it's a made-up award because it didn't exist last year. A whole BET? Yes. Made up an award for the mega? Yes. I don't know about that, bro. Like, if I'm playing devil's advocate, like, I'm thinking... Mm-hmm. So, you think it's a, it's a, it's a co- it could be a coincidence that it's, it's there for the first time and it and happened then it to, go to, to go to mega? To go to him. But yeah. then how do you set that up, though? Because... Even if you look at like fifth season Sony and the labels that he ever worked with, mm-hmm. right? Is it possible that they could have been like, yo, uh, this is for us as Sony because we know the South African rapper who is so dope. You'll never know. Sony is an is, is It could an be American like a business company. thing. Sony is an American company, so you'll never know what's going on behind so the now, scenes. So now, right? Yeah. As fans of Mega, yeah. do we accept this award? Yes, let's celebrate. That's, uh, it's going to be the last year we celebrate Mega. But now we, we're celebrating Mega, right? Yeah. Of an award that you and I are both saying they gave it to him for the fuck of it. Because I'm, he not, passed. I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that per se because I, I, that, that award didn't exist. I don't know the criteria. It's the first time it happens. You know, he, he received seven nominations at the Summers. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Is probably gonna win most of those. Let the Megacy celebrate, you know, and the Sahas are still coming. We don't know what's gonna happen. That's why I'm saying it's the last year the Megacy is gonna celebrate Mega. So, because after give, this, give that, it's, it's after time. this, there's no album coming out. Wow, that's so, crazy. So, so, how do we keep so, the so Legacy alive? Let, them, yo? Let, let them enjoy this moment. Ah, that's not cool at all, my dog. So, how do we keep the Legacy alive if we honestly and, and what you're saying is the truth? Because now I'm looking at it. Two years from now, no one's giving no. Megacy's not the Megacy's. They're not getting any other award after this. Yeah, after this, we'll be going. But, we'll, we'll be going back to old mega albums. Yeah, unless they drop like a greatest hits that might win a Grammy, which is but it's still highly it'll unlikely. still be old songs. It's highly, highly unlikely. Yeah. Look, Megacy celebrated. For me, I just feel like they should stop shitting on us. Yeah. You know, um, stop giving us awards when we when we're dead. Bet. Give us awards while we're still alive. Mega, and Mega dropped three amazing albums. Four, yeah. you know, amazing pieces of art that y'all never looked at. And now while that, we're now still, that he's passed, while, we want to look at them. Nah. While we're still talking about BET, I saw lyricist of the year. Oh uh, no, that, that category B. was trash. Don't we have that. like like 
proper lyricist. But that's what they were saying, right? Is that like, how do we crown lyricists if the lyricists aren't making music? They are. Where, where are we looking at? Where are we? Lo- are we looking at the charts for lyrics? Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I think at the moment, yeah. That's, know, that's, we're, not, that, look, we're not digging the crates for the dopest up. nigger that's, underground that, that, anymore. That's dog. fucked up. That's, that, that's the wrong way of doing it. But that's look at the, it this way. Because, 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 yeah. because in America, you have your Benny the Butcher, your West Side Gun, like your Conway. Griselda, you have like yeah. a lot of lyricists. If you're looking at the charts, you're going to miss those people. Let me tell you what we do at the Sahas. We look at the lyrics, not at the numbers. That's why, that's why you're going to have your P. Dot, your Ginger Trill, your Stogie T, your Youngster. People who don't have numbers, but they, 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 they have the pen game. You know what I'm saying? That's the way to do it. That's why, that's why artists with, with numbers, ever since we started the awards 12 years ago, AKA has never been nominated for Best lyricist, aka has never, um, Casper has never been nominated for best lyricist. We don't care how how many platinums or how much numbers, views, and streams you have. Mm, mm. That has nothing to do with, with your lyricism. with, with pen game, with lyricism. With, when it comes to lyricists of the year, we look we we look at the lyrics. Yeah, you know that. that that that's when. Ginger, that, that's where Ginger comes in with his low numbers. You know, that's where P. Dot comes in with his low numbers because he's got what we're looking for. In terms of lyrical content. Yes. In terms of the So art. this thing of, of nominating Burner Boy and Cardi B for lyricists of yeah, the year. Yeah, no, no, but hear me out, right? Yeah. you looking at it from a point of lyricism and what lyricism is to the culture. Ne? Now... Open lyricism your mind up. Lyricism. Open your mind up. You Open your mind. Let me out. Let me say, out. Okay, for 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 people who are not smart enough, who don't understand the lyrics, we're gonna dumb it down and give them the Cardi B's and the Benna Boys and say, for you, this is lyricism. Hear it doesn't me out. work like that. Hear me out, right? Mm. We're looking at an award show here. Yeah. yeah. We're looking at. I'm I'm going towards the thought of how this thing is changing. I hear you've explained to us what lyricism is. Yeah. Right. Open your mind up to the idea, because it's happening, Rashid. I'm telling you right now. Mm. Open your mind up to the idea that lyricism as we know it yeah. is no longer what is classified as lyricism. No, it is. It's still the same. It's Nothing a, changed. No, my nigga, Nothing hear me changed. out. This is why you have mm. the, 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 the lyricism category at the BTs being what it is. It's because they're trying to let us know that... Hear me out. No, no, let me finish, uh, dog. Finish, let finish. Me, I'll let you finish, yeah. Anish. They're trying to let you know that the people who are dope lyrically, underground, and the guys we know, the gingers, mm-hmm. who, the guys with low numbers, but mad murderers and dope bars, mm-hmm. don't make the award show money. That's not true. That's I'm not telling true. you. I'm telling Probably, you what no, it is. No, no, no. Probably in, in, in South Africa, yes. But everywhere. In, no, no, not everywhere. Everywhere, G. Uh, Dog. J, 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 J. Cole is outselling these little rappers Kendrick is outselling this with you talking about with lyricism. Sales. No, no, lyrics. I'm saying those are lyricists. I'm mentioning lyricists. Who are good in the I'm, modern day. I'm, 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 yes. They are not right even part now. of that category wait, that you're talking about. Wait, wait. I'm saying, I'm saying, in South Africa, good enough. Lyricists don't sell, you know. Like, the gingers and the P-dots don't have the plaques. Word. You know, but in the States, it's a different story. Where they, where, where they dumbing it down. They have these people on the mainstream. They have lyricists. It's not like they said, okay, mainstream doesn't have lyrics. We can't dig deep. No, they, they are don't. here. They can't you have dig the J. Deep. Coles. No, 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 no. You have the J. Coles here. You have the, 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 the Kendricks are still here. On the mainstream, people who are going multi-platinums. They're not going to make them as much money as putting Cardi B there and putting, I think they had put Jack Hall. Like they had that lyricist. Lyricists of the year for BT was commercial artists, artists that make money. They don't care anymore but, 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 about but how it's, dope it's, you are but lyrically. What I'm, saying, what I'm saying, my argument is, it's it's not it's not always been like that. You no, know, you're right. It, it's not always been like that. But that's where it's going, okay. my nigga. You Jay-Z, need to accept Jay- it. Jay Z won that category. Nas won that category. Kendrick won that category. J Cole won that category. Why is it dumbed down now? 
because now it's about the commercials. Like back I'm then, I'm saying, I'm saying these niggas I mentioned are still commercial, but they're not dropping like the lot. You can't nominate. Nas, Nas is Kendrick. dropping. Nah. Nas is dropping. Just won a Grammy I, last I, year. I, I, I he hear dropped that, again. No? I hear the Nas conversation. Yes, and the issue with that is, even if he does drop and he's lyrically amazing, it's not going to create more traction than putting Cardi B as best lyricist. And that's it's, all that matters no, for these corporate no, cats. It's, 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 they it's, don't it's care about, about how dope Nas it's, it's is. It's not about traction. It is. It's, it, no, no, no. It's about giving the award to people that deserve it. You can't, you can't take... It's not can, about that anymore. No, 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 no. Listen, you can't take an award away from Ginger Trill and say, we, we will give this to Casper because he has traction. That's a bullshit analogy. It is bullshit. Yeah. But that's where the hip-hop and the music space is at. Uh, no, not here. Not here. Here, here, here we run but things. Whatever happens oh, there, dog, okay, trust I'm me, saying, it's coming I'm, here. Listen, listen to me. I'm saying here in South Africa, we run things and we're going to make sure that things remain real. My nigga, y'all niggas had top MCs, what, what, and put Shoma Josie and them at like top two. I've never done that shit. Not you. Yeah. But that's your people. That's the cult. Dog, what mm. I'm saying to you, it, it doesn't matter how dope you are lyrically. The people that are putting people saying, on now listen, listen, is listen, about listen how me. much money can you make us? Listen to me. All these sub what what people doing shit for themselves. We are doing South African hip hop awards. That that's not a BET or MTV or ETV. No, it's South Africa. We're doing the whole country. No, it's national. Gee, but you're when defending, we're doing, you, listen, you're listen. You're defending the, when, the, the, the when, when we're doing now, back to the city. A problem. No, no, no. We'll, 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 uh, at, at the SA hip hop awards. We'll never put Shoma Josie as the best lyricist. But that's what I'm saying. You're defending no, one no, I'm entity. No, I'm one saying entity. we're representing SA Hip Hop, not, not MTV. MTV is globally played. The t- no, 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 top I'm list saying, I'm saying from our whatever country shit, goes whatever, out to the rest no, no, of the no, world. No, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying whatever shit that they do on MTV-based top 10, it, it's not a true reflection of SA Hip Hop. Of course not. Yes, of that's what not. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Sharp, but now you need to accept the fact that Whatever they do, if they're putting Shoma Jose and Busiswa as number one and two as the hottest MCs in our country, uh-huh. can you not see that it makes more sense commercially we are, for we that are channel? Here, we are here to defend that because those people are not even hip hop, number one, number two, they're not even MCs. But you're losing so, the so battle. We here, we're gonna, you're losing we, the battle. Listen, listen, we're going to come out and say, okay, enough about that TV bullshit. Here's the real thing the lyricist of the year at the Sahas are Ginger Trill. <laughs> Pretty ugly. Stogie T. Forget that, forget that bubblegum bullshit. Prince Here's Shado. the real shit. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to call out the real niggas. For yes. sure. Doug, no one's disputing what you're saying. You're fighting a battle. Yeah. No one is saying that, that's the, that back to the Sahas don't do that. Yeah. My point, what I'm trying to make is BET is trying to show us that what we consider lyricism mm. and what sells is not what they were going to put on. So we know mm. Benny the Butcher. Kendrick, all these niggas, they way better lyrically. Okay, they but can. But Burner Boy is nominated for lyricist of the year. Okay, they can do. I don't. I, I don't really care about that American bullshit. You should care. You no, should no, care. no, 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 no. No, because you they, care. they don't detect to us. But you we're should gonna, care. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna here. We're gonna keep it thorough. I'd love to. You, you know what I'm saying? I'd love to. Right here, we don't give a fuck what MTV base does. You, I hope so. You know what I'm saying? I hope so. We, we, know, we know they just shot a, 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 a cypher at the SA Hip Hop Museum. We did that shit last year. You know, they're doing the same shit we did last year. So, we don't... No, okay, cool. Pause on that one. Eh? Quick, mm. Quickly, quickly, before you move on. Please hold your thought. Who was in that cypher? Which one? The, the one that BET just did. Or MC, the one you just did at the, at the museum. Who was it? Were they real lyricists there? Or was it Boso Splata and them? Are you saying social Splatter is not a lyricist? No, don't do that. <laughs> all I'm saying <laughs> What is, are you saying? I'm saying the guy with the hottest song is all of a sudden in a cypher. We don't even know if this guy can rap like T- that. Okay, TV, TV. I don't, I don't, I don't care what MTV. You see, you, oh, nah, okay. listen, son. Listen, listen nah, to me. Son. Listen. Nah, let, uh, son. <laughs> listen. If, if, learn to listen. I'm saying <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what MTV or BET does. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they're going to put on all this bubblegum bullshit there for TV, for numbers, for ratings, for clout, for, for, for traction, like you said before. Yeah. We, 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 don't do, we, we don't do that for traction. Of course we, not. We do it, we do it for... Like, for realness. We, yeah, for realness. Yeah. When we see... We, we put 
Latinova pound on the cipher last year before Sosh Sosh Before he was even dropped. big. Before you, you he was know even what I'm big, saying? Yeah. Because we out there, we see who's got potential, who's popping. You know, we're not about who's on TV. Okay, then maybe the issue is then here. Because you like you're saying, you had you had Latinova. Shout out to Latinova, by the way, man. Sosh Plata Puñete, we love that shit. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, but if you're saying you guys put them on a year before they actually got on the big, big yeah. platforms. In and we had corners. Mutizo last year and he right? went on to win 10K Challenge right? this year. So now, would you consider yourself commercial? That platform, the what? Cyphers, the Sisaha, are they commercial? At, 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 they, 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 they commercial before commercial because when we put you there... So they're not commercial. Okay, listen, we, 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 we put you there, there's 90% chances of you going commercial. Which means you guys are the underground plug into the we, pipeline, we, into MTV base. I guess. We, we the Zama Zamas, we find, <laughs> we find pure gold before you guys go get it at American and Swiss. Then, and then this goes back to my critique question is that because you found Lotinova, are you allowed to critique him more than MTV base? Who are the guys who are going to put him on? We, on? Don't, we don't claim anything. We don't claim anything. You know, all, all, we, don't, we, don't, we don't claim no one. Yeah, no. Trust me, Tuana. And I hear my only issue is that mm. when are you defending the wrong thing here? Yeah. Because I know that you. No, I'm yeah? saying, I'm saying, and, and the I'm entity saying, that saying, you spun okay, for. The reason I was saying that, the, the reason we got there, I'm saying we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna be fooled by the hype, cause we we understand the realness. We can we can find the realness without the radio, without TV. The, the radio and TV they're gonna get these people from us. Yes, now who matters more? Us. According to? According to your radio and TV motherfuckers. No. Oh, listen, you ask me a question, okay. let me answer. Gotcha, gotcha. You radio and TV motherfuckers, you're going to discover these people a year or two later that we put on two years ago. Word. You, you know what I'm Word. saying? Word. That's, that, that's us. Yes, you're important in the fact that you are the, uh, the hub of where these people come from. But the people that put them on a global platform, the commercial they spaces... They wouldn't be able to do that without us. Ah, that's fine. Yes. But when they do what so they do... So don't skip that stage. Don't skip no, that stage. Not, but when they do what they mm. do, you can't be upset at the fact that they have Burner Boy we, as lyricism. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. That's your fault. No, 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 no. We, it's we, your we, fault that they're saying that. No, no, no. Our, you must understand our lane. You must understand our lane. Our lane is not, is, is not the... The Banner Boy Lane. Our lane is giving you Mtizo before anyone else knows him. Mm -hmm. Giving you Latinova Pound. Giving you Big Zulu before anyone else. You, you know what I'm saying? What you do with them, it's, it's, they're going to be successful, good for them. You know, and we're not going to say, oh, those, those people belong to us. We, we, we don't give a fuck. But we don't deal with the, with, with the Banner Boy kind, with the, with the Shoma Chosi kind. Mm. We, we have our own lane where we bring these people to the spotlight and they flourish. So do you guys get upset now when they start not recognizing these lighties and they recognize Bo Shoma Chosi and Bo Busiswa No, I'm saying, I'm saying uh, we, we don't. We're going to be there to recognize that. Oh, these guys say... Oh, these guys say this is the top 10. You know what, Okay, okay listen, listen I to like me. what you said. Let me finish. Mm. Oh, these guys say this is your top 10. Come to the awards. Here's the best lyricist. And it has nothing to do with that top 10. I like that. Yeah. I like that mentality because what you're saying is... Yeah. Because I was trying to see if you're saying to me that as, as the guys who find these people, you're not as big as an MTV base. Like the Sahas and, and, and the top 10 MCs, those were basically the same thing for me. Like, you guys, if not on the same level, mm. you should be able to compete with your lists. But your lists can't be so much different. They can't be so much different. There has to be some sort of cohesion so that the people that are outside of South Africa can really know who's the hottest MC. Yeah, but we, 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 we're going to rectify the mistakes because you, you're going to make... It's tough okay, for you. Wait, wait. These people, these, these commercial culture vultures, they're going to make these kids think, oh, Busiswa is hip-hop. We, we're going to come up and say, no, that's bullshit. Here's what hip-hop is. <laughs> that's what we're going to do. We don't care what they do, but we're going to rectify the mistakes. I hear when you. We're going to correct all the bullshit. I hear you, and I'm sure, Antoine, trust me, I think in a thousand percent, in America, there, there is 
the same thing is happening that side mm-hmm. where people people were outraged by that by that top five for the top lyricists. They were just like, what the fuck is going on the here? Prob- the, the problem is in America, everything, everything is, is, is commercial, you know? You don't, have, you don't have the awards in America, like hip hop awards, that is run by cultured people like us. You go to the Source Awards, the BET hip hop awards, it's, it's all commercial bullshit, you know? Here, we make sure that mm. it's, 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 it's the heads, the cultured people who are, who are living the, the culture that are running this shit. Now, that's all I was trying to get you to establish <laughs> yeah. and to understand is that yeah. there's the commercial space and then there's the, the, the real space. Yeah. And y'all are playing in the real space, whereas the MTV's top 10 MCs is not. they really about yeah. yo, what's going to get gonna people talking. What's going to get people yeah. tweeting? Yes. What's going to get people come watch the they, repeats? They want, they're all about the numbers. We're yeah, gonna, we care about the real raps. We, we, we're going to keep bringing that balance. Oh, okay. these motherfuckers say this is your top 10. <laughs> okay, here's the real thing. Quick, quick one, quick yeah. one, quick one. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. right? Would you, would you consider Burner Boy a lyricist? Never. Why not? Because, because he's not. Lyricism in... In, 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 in terms of hip hop, in terms of hip hop, lyricism has to do with the pen game, with the poetical element of but he's writing. But he got that. Well, listen, li- no, I'm just, no, uh, just no, 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 putting no. a. Listen, he's got it, it. It has it has to do with the with the wordplay, with the punchlines, with the alliterations, with the rhyme schemes, with multisyllables. It doesn't have that. What Stop do you mean? Stop lying to the public. What do Stop you mean? Stop lying to the pub. No, no, no. There, there's a lot of rappers who don't have that. Let alone Ben Boy. What? Stop lying to the stop, stop lying to the public. Lyricism cannot be dumbed down to accommodate the, the likes of Ben Boy. For real. Yeah. So lyricism has to have certain elements into it for Poetic it be, elements, yes. But like we could re- re- that's what I'm saying. Ben Boy is poetic. He's got some poetic. No, 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 shit. no, no, no. He's has He's what? He's a he's a sing along dude. He 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 write lyrics. Yeah. You know? Like a, any other artist, but not everyone who writes lir- uh, lyrics is a lyricist. Okay. We must know the difference. Wh- what do we mean when we say a, a lyricist? That's why, that's why, that's why, like, it, it might sound the same or you might think it means the same thing. That's why when, when someone says something within, within a phrase, we say bars. But whether you're a lyricist or not, everyone rhymes within a bar. Fact. But not everything... That's within a bar is a bar. Is, is, I get you. You, you know Lyrically. what I'm saying? When we say bars, hip hop, hip hop, speaking. Hey, sure. Yeah, we mean we. <laughs> Don't bite your tongue now, uh, son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But when, when we say bars, yeah, we don't mean the bars that everyone is using. When we say lyricism we don't mean lyrics that's that that are general so you must don't don't confuse or be confused by by the hip-hop language lyricism means something different within hip-hop when you say bars it means something you know because benna boy has bars he sings like eight bars whatever that's bars but not in hip-hop terms i hear you i heard that uh, that argument about uh, for the dogs people were saying that yeah homie's rapping but he's not dropping bars. And there's a big difference between rapping and actually dropping bars. It's always, it's always you know been I mean? like, like that, yeah. You can rap, like, oh, this nigga, this nigga's nice, he can mm. rap. But that nigga dropped bars. That other nigga dropped some bars, yeah. some shit that he said was like off, 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 like off the planet type shit. You know but I, I mean? get you, let's not, we've been, we've been holding on to it for too long. Students, please, man, finish the conversation for us. Hit us up in the comment section. Let us know how you feel about this lyricism and where lyricism is going. I feel like it's going into commercial space. Rashid says lyricism will always be lyricism. That, that, it's, it's always going to be lyricism. I'm saying it's going to change. And commercial, com, com, people acting like commercialism is something new. Commi- will Smith was commercial back in the days. Like Commercial rap has always been there since day one. You, you know what I'm saying? Where? So... Nothing's going to change. We're going to have these parallels. I got you. All right, let's talk about Back to the City before we start class. Back to the City, um, I don't know. I think you should do the shout-outs for Back to the City because you know who deserves a shout-out for Back to the City in terms of just the organization side of it, 
the just spon- for the, culture, the sponsors. Man. Like, shout out to Hennessy. Shout out to yeah. Sh- shout out to Sprite. Shout out to Power Play. Um, shout out to everyone who made Bhutan, it possible. Bhutan, Converse. Man. Yeah, Bhutan, Converse. All the sponsors that came through. Um, yeah, man. Like. It was a dope event. One of the safest in the country. We hardly get any it's falling up there, news yeah. of violence or people getting attacked. Word. Yeah. But but like production wise it was beautiful. It was amazing. Let's talk about it, man. Fifty years of hip hop, forty years of uh, South SA African hip hop, yeah. seventeen years of back to the city. Uh I'll start with the stage. We all had the whole uh fifteen twenty Sedwood Ag- Avenue backdrop. Yeah, yeah. That was crazy. What why, why that one? Because that's where the first party happened. Yeah. Um, cool Herc, 1973, 11 August, 1520 Sedgwick Avenue in the Bronx. That's where the whole hip hop movement started. That was really cool to see, man. Um, yeah. In terms of, uh, not, to, not to sit too long on it, in terms of performances, anybody that you caught that was, you know, caught your eye or. Some of the international yeah, dudes that pulled yeah, up. Yeah, like I said before, um, the performances, especially like the South African artists, the concept was, the theme was um, 40 years of SA hip hop. So that's why you had your POC, your AMO, all the way to where we are right now, you know. So it was like all the eras, all the eras included within the lineup to represent 40 years of hip hop. I really enjoyed it, man. Um, you know, outside of outside of us not having Mega and I, oh, we talk about Mega a lot. R.I.P. Yeah. Mega. It was, it was. I, I think I, I. This is my honest opinion. I enjoyed mm. this one more than I did last year's one. Yeah, you don't have a choice. It's the only hip hop festival left. People, really? instead of criticizing and bashing, you need to support Back to the City because you got nothing else. Fuck, that's so deep to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we can't even critique back to the city. You can, but it uh, uh, constructive criticism <laughs> and say, okay, let's grow. This nigga. You, no, I'm saying you can. You can. I'm not saying. Oh, you can't hate. I can't hate. Yeah, I can throw some hate. Fuck the haters. <laughs> but you, 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 you can critique. I can, I can throw some. You know, hate, you right? can say this was lacking. Please improve by doing it. We we, we take you constructive hear that, nah. criticism. Not just like yeah. ah, this was pop. Yeah, if you say ah, that's bullshit. Do something better, motherfucker. Oh, man. Like, for me, I, I honestly enjoyed myself so much more this year. I thought mm. crowd interaction with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, the performers yeah. was, I haven't seen it since, like, 2015, 16. Yeah, yeah. You know, where the crowd was, like, fully involved with every song. I don't know how many electric slides I've seen happening during yeah, Trumpy's crazy. set. It was crazy. And the, and the power play stage, the 10K challenge was crazy. The 10K like challenge was The turn wild, out man. there was yeah, amazing. Yeah, you know, like, there's, there's hunger for people who are trying to get on, man. And yeah. festivals like this can never stop, Rashid. So, from my side, from a, from, a, from a broadcaster's perspective, from a journalist's perspective, I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was really dope. Um, yeah. Sound always clean with y'all niggas. Stage yeah. was fucking amazing. I the think sound the stage is was always beautiful. clean. These these rap motherfuckers must stop performing over vocals. Oh, Why yeah? do you do that when the sound is perfect? Who did that? Most artists on stage so when all they of them. perform they perform over backtracks. So all of them. Yeah. All of them. Almost all of them. You lie. So it's like I'm listening to you and I don't know why they do that. Word. You know. Because you do that when the sound is bad and the, the people can't hear you. Then you, you put on a backtrack. Not when the sound is perfectly clear. I hear you. What, what also happened to niggas prepping their sets, man? Like you sound like you, you, you're not sure of your lyrics. You don't remember your lyrics. You need some back now. Which is surprising for me, right? You need right? to rehearse. Donna, you need to rehearse. Hear me out, right? This is something I wanted to say, yeah. which I saw happen a lot at Back to the City. Yeah. I've been going around. It's, it's, it's fourth quarter. A lot of these homies are gigging, young child. Yeah. They're out here, they're partying, and we're out here catching you guys' set. Like, we are there, we are there at your sets. We are watching all of your sets. You cannot, for me, mm-hmm. perform the same set you performed last week at a different gig exactly the same. Yeah, that's, we, we, we have that problem. Is, or is it like, is that, is that like problem. a thing? Maybe, maybe I've got it wrong. Is that like what artists do? 
No, 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 it's, it's not. You need, to, you, you need to read the audience. You need to, to, to do research and saying, okay, I'm going to perform in Bumalanga or I'm going to perform in Limpompo. This is the sound they, 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 they faxing with. You know, you need to, every time you go to perform to different venues, you need to understand what's popping there. How can you adjust your own set? No, I hear that because mean, for me, Antoana, there's no ways I can know what you're going to play next. Because I heard your shit last weekend. You know what I mean? I'm like, I saw you. I literally it's saw you lazy. It's been lazy. I think it's been lazy. But now, that's my thing. is that I, It made me think, do artists not go home and be like, okay, I killed this shit. Let me rearrange my set to make let, my next let gig. Me, let, These let, niggas do it exactly the way it is let me, let from me last you, week. Let me, let, let, me, let me give you and the promoters the solution. Word. They need to... Write the set on the contract. What do you mean? I'm saying w when we book, when we book American artists, we tell them exactly what songs to perform. We're gonna get mob deep and say you're gonna perform Burn, you're gonna perform Shook ones, you're gonna perform uh, The World Is get Mine. Away. We're gonna we don't wanna hear your new shit. Nobody knows that here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm word, saying? Word, so word. every time we, we book. An American artist, we give them the time slot and the 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 the, the playlist, the okay. track list. This is what you're gonna. You, this is what we're booking you for. Mm. This is what you're coming to perform. I think promoters need to start doing that, so that we know so that, that you're not that doing they, the same shit. They don't shit. perform the same shit everywhere. These they niggas go. is walking around. Rashid, I ain't lying to you. Yeah. Doing the same shit they be doing for the whole I month. I know. I know. The same way, back to back. It's like dog. I've been following you as a fan everywhere you go, but you're doing the same fucking songs. You, you need after the you, same fucking song. You need to read. You need to 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 read the crowd. You need to read the crowd. You know, oh, I, used to, I, used, I used to I used to travel with with Oskiro, like Word. five gigs a night. Sure. He would get there with a house set prepared, and everybody's playing house. Say, okay, cool. I'm switching it up. I'm gonna play hip hop, mm. and he plays hip hop, plays and then he leaves. So I think you need to be able to read the crowd and what everybody else is doing. No, you're right, my G's. Laziness. Laziness yeah. and comfortability. And exactly. as soon as we get start getting comfortable and there's no conversations like this happening where you guys know as rappers and artists that, yo, we know you're doing the same set that you did last week. Yeah. We know you did this song, then you did this song, then you did this song, then you, did, then you fucked out of here. Yeah. Don't do that. Or maybe we need to start Sing as, uh, as a crowd. Sing with you. You start singing. No, before it, it even starts. Because you know what's <laughs> next. Start the you next start song. singing it before it comes on. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. We're going to sabotage y'all. Y'all ra lazy rappers. Come on, homies, man. You guys are mad talents. Mad talents. Put some work into it. Put some craft into it. Take your time. Rehearse. Prepare. Different yeah. set for different niggas. Different set for different people. Don't go to uh, a festival in, at Rocking the Daisies and come do the same shit at Back to the City. No. Yeah. Right, but anyway, let's, class. Let, let's get to class. Let's class. get to class. Yo, come on, anyway. But it's been a while, though. We yeah, it's been a minute. We have, we have some shit to get off our chest, We have a lot to say. All right, class, man. Hit the ball there, trippy trip. <laughs> Clean job, doggy. Um, let's talk about listening sessions, man. Um, listening sessions, new music that and has been album dropping. Launches, yeah. Album launches. Album uh, launches. What's your take on what the what's niggas the have been importance? doing? What's the importance? Why are artists still doing that? Let's talk about that. Um, I think it's important. Mm -hmm. First of all, I do think it's very important to introduce media to your music. Yeah. In a very, in a very almost sucking your dick kind of way. Because the media are the people that are going to promote this shit and no one's going to promote it if you don't get the right backing. And to do that, sometimes you might need to, you know, rub a couple of balls. Which means you might need to do a listening session, an album session where you invite just media only. Yeah. You buy them a lot of liquor. You make sure when they leave there, all they're writing about is how dope your new album is. I understand that and I agree. But I've seen a lot of listening sessions. People just come there to listen. There's no feedback. Facts. I, I want the media when the, there's media there because um, listening sessions happen before the album drops. Word. So those media people are there to suggest... This is this should be your first single. This is a hot song out of your project. Let's run with this. 
don't just listen and go home. Okay. You okay. know, so they there, they there to help you figure out because if there's OG from YFM at my listening session and OG says number two is the one, the chances of OG rejecting number two when I send it are very slim because I already know that, okay, that this, is, this is what these people like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. That's the reason you do listening sessions. Okay. Don't just invite people to listen, drink, and go. From what, your, did you, what did you get out of that? Jam, from your knowledge of, of like, yeah. you know, the, you've been in the game for a minute. From your knowledge, how, how did they used to do sessions back in the day? What? Listening sessions for music. How did they used to, what was the purpose of those sessions back then? You know, when you couldn't stream music, where you had to buy the, the actual album. How did they used to hold it down in terms of how they host and do their listening sessions? There's, 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 there's two types of listening sessions. There's a media listening session where you invite all these media houses, people to write about it on newspapers, to talk about it on radio or, or TV or sell Matunzi or whatever. Right. That gives your, your album... More, more marketing or more promo, you know, because these people will talk about it. Okay. And then there's, there's, there's a public listening session where people will say, oh, shit, I love what I, I heard. I can't wait for the album to drop so I can cop it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But with the media, it goes, it goes further than them just sitting there and listen because they're not going to buy. You probably prepare some promotional copies. Right. Either it's USB or whatever mm. to say, okay, take this, play it in your car after, after, after this party so you can review it or, and write about it. But more than that, they need to give you feedback on the spot, whether in form of writing or, 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 or just saying it on the spot, on the microphone to say, okay, I'm so-and-so from this radio station, and I think track number three will work for my station or for my show. You need to consider that as a single. You need that feedback as an artist. Okay, now as the artist, right? Yeah. Uh, my question comes to when should the artist be doing the listening session? Because from what you're saying, is that if you want feedback, yeah. then you can't give us a project that's already done and it's ready to go. Because you, you, you my can, feedback... You can, you can hear me out. Let me, mm. let me finish, right? Because mm. a, lot of, a lot of what's happening today is that we'll go to Nasty C's album listening session for... Yeah. For... Um, um, love Lives Here or love, some shit. Love Lives Here. I love it here. I love it here. Right? <laughs> love Lives Here. <laughs> 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 long ass album god damn yeah. but anyway <laughs> mm. I'll go to that session and even if I say yo Nasty I think track 7 should be the first but Nasty's album is done like the rollout yeah the, the album is, is done but not the, 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 the singles you know you know some singles come after the album drop that's why the listening sessions are done before the album release why don't they do the sessions way before the album releases so even if it's not media or even if it's media I'm dropping my album in two months, niggas. Mm -hmm. uh, can I have Y come in, Metro come in, uh, Trace, MTV, Channel O, please come listen to what I've worked on already. Tell me what's dope and what's not. Why don't artists do that? Because you, you, you are sure about your album, but you are not sure about the singles. No, it's always my a job. No, 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 no. Listen. Nah, it's an you, ego thing. It's an ego thing. No, it's not. It's not. I have... I'm, I'm nasty, see, I have 20 songs on the album. So you just want to play us your songs that you know already dope. You don't even give no, a no, fuck no, no, what no, we no. think. I, I, I think they're all dope as an artist. Which is why you're putting okay, them out, right? Listen, yes, I think they're all dope. Sure. But you can't put 20 songs as singles. That's where you come in as media. Ah. To say track one, two, three, these three singles will do commercially. Mm, okay. You know, so that's, I'm just dealing, that, that's what I'm dealing with whatever the artist for. wants to paint, right? Yeah. I'm dealing with, with whatever he wants to paint. I'm saying, wouldn't it be better if I was there while he was painting? So if he was like, okay, I've got 25 songs. I'm calling media and, a, and 100 of my fans to come listen to these 25 songs. It's, Why it's, don't it's, they do that? It's like a painter. A, it's like an artist mm. with 20 paintings. But he needs to take three 
to the, to the art gallery to sell. You come decide out of these 20, which three can I take to the art gallery? You feel that that's what they're doing now in terms of the, how they're holding their sessions down? Yes. Okay. But that, that's, that, that's the main objective to choose, to choose the, the, the singles, the songs that are going to work from this album. That's why they do the listening sessions. That's why they're doing the listening For sessions. Real? I just yes. feel like it's, they're just getting there to blow their own Now, horns. Yes, now they do. Some people, some artists don't even know why they're doing the, the listening they sessions. Dog. But I'm telling you what listening sessions are for. That's what they're supposed to be. Yes. Is that we're supposed to get there, listen to, listen to what you're painting, or look at your painting. Yeah. Be like, all right, this painting will work here, this one. Actually, take those to the gallery. Yes. Leave these ones out. Leave these but, ones. But, but yeah. it's too late because... These niggas have already put the music out, is what I'm saying. So by the time we get to the listening session, it doesn't but, matter what we think. But a, a, a single, a single is used to sell the album. That's why that's why a radio song is called commercial. A commercial is an advert, as the song that advertises your album. If someone likes that, that that commercial. Who will go back to buy the buy product? The, the, got you. You, got you, you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. That's how it works. I think that's how it should work with these listings. Yeah, you're right. Though, but like, the problem is, I'm saying people who are organizing these things, the artists themselves, they don't know the purpose or the of importance the, of, of a listening session. It's become they just, a party now. They just now they're doing it to, to network. Ah, there's free food, there's free drinks. Not even dog. I sometimes feel like, and I've been to a couple of listening sessions, and I yeah. get there, and I'm like. You called us all here just so that you can blow your own horn about music that you don't even know if we because, like it or not. Because they, it's, it's not explained properly and it's not done properly. You know, now it looks like they, they just there uh, to gloat in their own clothes. No, it's like, yo, dog, like, some of these songs are shit. You know what I mean? Matter, mm. Some of them might be whack. But you haven't consulted us before. Dro- you, you're bringing us in now for a listening session where we have zero say on whatever you're dropping. The only say we have is either we like it or we don't. That's why, that's why I'm saying when you enter the door, everyone must have a score. Shit. Play, <laughs> you, you, Facts, dog. Yeah, you play right, track one. Nigga. You say, Live, you, Yeah, you play track one. You, you, everyone is scoring. Scoring. Zero out of ten. The two word. out of ten. Five out like of ten. That. And then when you're sitting back alone you go through and say okay they really love number t- seven so let me push track number seven i like that but they don't do that they don't do that shit yeah you come to the listening session it's just mingling and free and finger foods and an open bar your 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 album is playing in the back but nobody's listening because everyone's trying to get a drink at the bar you know what i mean like these things should be sorted. Like there needs to be a better way for us to do listening sessions. That's the aim that of the listening session. And after the album drops, then you do the album launch. Now you're showing the people, okay, it's out now. If you're not aware, this is how it sounds like. Promoters, this is how I present this thing if you want to book me. That's, that's also another thing a lot of artists get wrong, mm. is that they confuse the listening session to the album launch. Album launch. Album launch and listening session are two different things. I've seen artists performing at, at, at listening session. Are you like, like Yo, are you bruh, performing? We're, not, we're here to I, listen, we're not here to watch. We're not here to watch, we're here to listen. It's the first time I'm hearing this song, dog. I don't want to hear you perform yeah. it. Play me the joint. Yeah, I want to sit down, drink and listen. And can I say if I like it or not? Yeah. And if I say I don't like it, or the general consensus is that it's not a good song, can we not hear it on the album? Yeah. You know and, then, I mean? and then when the album is out, I probably have the album when, I, when, I, when I'm attending your album launch. Maybe I'm playing to familiarize myself with your music. Word. I'm playing on my way to your album launch. I'm playing your album in the car. So when I get there, I'm just checking your whole presentation. It's not, yeah. Mm. I'm, did you take my advice? You know what I mean? Did you take mm. the media's advice? Did you take your fans' advice yeah. before you drop this music? Now we just, dog, I sometimes feel like we're force-fed music, especially in hip-hop. Like we are force-fed some of this crap that we're getting. And another thing, we, we, as artists and, and, and labels, we don't do research. We just, we just do what, whatever everyone is doing. Oh, I attended so-and-so's listening session last week. I'm going to do exactly like that mm. at a different venue. An unnecessary one, w- too. Without even understanding. All right. 
solution what do we do from here in terms of how we how we hold down our listening sessions and our album launches you do exactly how what do you I, pick you it do up? exactly what i said like you have score sheets by the table at the door everyone who comes in give them a mm, piece of paper and a pen and then they're gonna rate every song from track one to track 20 if uh, if it's if, if it's, it's a 20, 20 album uh, if it's a 20 track album you know do it like that and that you're going to get the idea which 1, songs people are vibing with. 1,000. My solution is exactly the same. Like, the people you invite to your listening session need to matter. Yeah, they need to give feedback. They need to matter. Yeah. If it's some of your fans. Don't just if feed it, them. Yeah, they need it, to if feed back. If it's media, you know what I mean? If it's uh, corporate, mm. the people you invite to your listening session, they need to have an impact. So even if it's a sync deal type of situation. Yeah. If I'm from KFC or from Ogilvy, or wherever these, uh, Joe Public, whoever's doing that case, right? Yeah. If I'm from there and I'm at your listening session, and I hear a song that can work with my new Streetwise 2 idea, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I need to be able to tell you that mm-hmm. at your listening session. So mm-hmm. those are the people you invite to your listening session. Let them have input into what you can and cannot change in your music, mm. right? When we do the album launch, bring the Star Wars, dog. Let's have a good time. Even the guy from KFC, now you bring him like, look what I did to this song. He's like, oh shit, now it works perfectly. Yeah. He's hearing it, now it's going out. It's not like the listening session where you can't call it a listening session if it's already going, it's gone. It's like, who cares? It's out. You're going to yeah. do it anyway. Listening session, invite the right people. The media. And album, the album launch. launch you let's invite, have a party, you, dog. You invite the organizers and the promoters. Let's have fun, bro. And say, okay, this is how I perform. This is our, your next event. Yeah. <laughs> your next event, you must book me. Dog, if I want to perform, I can perform at my album session, not at my listening session. Yeah. Uh, perform at your album launch if you want to. Yeah. Even there, you don't have to. Play us your music that, you, that we've given you critique on, yeah. that you've gone and worked on, and now you just sound so much better, dog. I think that will help a lot of artists if they stop mashing it into one thing, man. That's for sure. That's for sure. If, if, if you're doing. An, an album listening session, invite the media so that they can advise on which singles to put out. If you're doing an album launch, in, invite the Rashids, the Osmics, the, 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 <laughs> yeah. the Cotton Fest, people who would be like, okay, this, this is a is dope working. performance. Word. I'm booking this guy next. Word. You know what I'm saying? Word. So. Don't just do things randomly. Don't and just do one thing, at a, one thing at a time. Don't put them all together. Yeah. But all right, if you got any comments and you want to say something about it, if you feel like we're capping, comment section is open. You know what I mean? I think we're going to close the class like that. Uh, that's for sure, man. That's what it is. Album sessions, listening sessions, two different things. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. Free period. Free period. All right, who we got? We got, we got um, Supreme Phoenix. Supreme Phoenix, all the way from Ekka Slam, from Davidson, right? Davidson, yeah. It's from Davidson. Davidson. Yeah, yeah. He's quite, he's, he's quite dope, man. He's got a different style, you know, that, that toss a trap, that yeah. toss a vibe. Yeah. He's, he's too nice with it. He rolls with um, Bob Biscuit and them. Biscuit and them, yeah. You know, I saw, I saw him back crew. to the city. Yeah, yeah. It's quite crazy what the homies are all trying to do right now, especially with uh, the guys from the East. Yeah, you yeah. know, uh, because Lam Valley, there's a big movement happening. I do know that Pup Biscuits, now nah, we Supreme. They got events that they're trying to host out there, yeah. trying to find new talents as well. Supreme's been doing this thing maybe like from what I know, I've known him for like maybe five years or so. Yeah, yeah. And I was introduced and to he's him. He's been down with the Masterclass Hip Hop Sunday exactly. since 2021. That's where I met him at the yeah, Masterclass yeah. at the at the Hip Hop Sundays, you know, and I mm. saw him perform. Um, it's that whole thing of like, yo, just bring your crowd and your performance will be dope. You know? Yeah, I mean? yeah. Don't it go, don't go, young up and coming artists, can I say something? Don't go to an event expecting to get a crowd. Bring your own crowd. Bring your own people because when you get there, it's going to be empty and then you're going to feel like a superstar with zero crowd. Yeah. So get there and get your niggas to make some noise and you'll have a dope time, dope pictures and people will pick up from that. Don't get there and think that there's going to be a crowd for you. Yeah. And Supreme is one of those niggas. He he always gets there. He rocks. He's dope on stage. Yeah. So big shout out to and him. And he's man. got that presentation, man. He, he doesn't just get up on stage. And he can rap. Yeah. And he shout can out rap. to Supreme Phoenix. We see you. 
producers? Producers, we got Street Carnival. Street, ah, oh, shit. Street Carnival, oh, also shit. from the from the East Rand. Ah, oh, shit. Now you're talking about some real niggas shit. You know, you know what like, I'm saying? He's, humble he, cats. He's nice. He's nice with it. He's, he's done some work for a lot of cats. Uh, most notably, Len Rose. You Word. know, he's been behind Word. a lot of Len Rose stuff. Yeah, so we decided to give him some shine. Big shout out to him, Spotlight man. Spotlight is on Street Carnival. Well deserved. I mean, only 107 episodes later. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's crazy. We have too many producers in South Africa, yo. If you dope out there, dope producers, dope producers. You know what I feel like we should do, Sheed? Yeah, yeah. Don't steal our, our our idea, you motherfuckers. But I think there needs to be a platform outside of Double D and them, right? Mm-hmm. Where South African producers can just put their beats online and get them bought. Yeah. Like the, we've done 107 of them now. Yeah. Not, maybe maybe and about. And we haven't even included the 10k challenge producers. That's what I'm saying. Not even half of them are like big producers. Yeah. They just niggas who have dope beats and they like really they work do hard. Yeah, those beats from the 10k. But challenge. now, how do we get those beats where people can buy them and like expose these niggas? That's an opportunity. We talk about them, but like, how do we? How that's do we a, put them on? That's an opportunity. Don't expect anyone else to do it. You do it. That's an opportunity presenting itself to you. You're right. I want to do it for them. You know I'm what I mean? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put y'all on, niggas. <laughs> My producer homies. Yeah, fuck that. Alright, alright. Shout out to Street <laughs> Carnival. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up uh, with the album review. review. Alright, what are we reviewing? Uh, yes, uh, I feel like there's so many albums that we can review between the past four weeks that we haven't. Hey, been there's here. a lot of albums to. But so let's, start with with? let's start with Casper. Let's, let's start with Casper. Let's start with Solomon. Yeah. Let's start. With, oh shit! I wanted to look at the track list. My let's start with Solomon. Hit me with the track list, there, broski. Or should I give my honest opinion first up? Huh? I can't stop you from giving your, your, your honest opinion. All right. Not my favorite Casper album of all, of all the albums that he's dropped. But I do think it's a good album. It's a great album. It's a good album. Not my favorite one, but it's a good album. It's, 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 it's a great album. I like it because... Great it is a different word. Great means better than his other stuff. Not all of them. Okay. So it's not his best work is what we say. Yeah, it's better than other albums. Okay. Um, I like this album. It has replay value. Okay. Like, I, I, I've i played it repeatedly. Really? Yeah. I haven't, dog. That's the crazy uh, thing. Uh, you know, I I've, come back I've to played it. it repeatedly and it's listenable. You know? I'm a huge Casper fan, so it's very hard for me to say bullshit about him. Yeah. Um, I, I, li- I like this album. I like this album, man. I'm a mad critique, though, of the work. I do think the marketing behind this one has been the worst. I think they're slacking. I think the timing was, the timing was bad it was because it, it came out when it was going on tour. On tour. I don't think they have time to you're touring, market and you're promote with the same this album. guy who's you know, also dropping an album on the same day as you. You know, it, it was just. I know Cass, man, and Cass, in terms of the, when he when he releases music, mm. I know him as a fan. I don't know him as a human being. Yeah, but as a fan. When this nigga drops an album, dog, there's noise for decades, man, and you can't compete with a Casper drop same day. You're lying. Yeah. You're lying on your name, saying. But I sh- think I think it can was. I, can, can I finish the statement, yeah. right? There should no. There should never be a conversation where it's it's whose album are you listening to first before. You, it's Casper, niggas. No, I think I think that was that was planned. That that was premeditated. It was a strategy because nasty and Cas. They're going on a tour together. Yeah, they're on so tour. So even, even dropping on the same day, it was like nah. something they decided long before. I would never do I, that. Maybe, I don't know if it's working, but like maybe they, 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 needed, they needed to get these albums out of the way so that they can go on tour and perform. But I'm saying it, it's messing up you. with the... With commercial, the, you see? Commercial shit. Yeah. Let's talk real hip-hop. Yeah. That would never fly in real hip-hop. Real oh, let's, let's all drop together because we're all flying around Africa you, you, together. You, 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 what? Commercially, you need these gimmicks. It's fucked up. Yeah, if you commercially, ask me. you need these gimmicks. Hey, if but but what I'm saying is now it's messing with the promo because there's a there's a lot of singles on this album that yeah. that that it's need a single to be pushed. Driven album, yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I like this album, like honestly. Me too. You know, me too. You know what I'm just, saying? It's the it's the it's the work around it that I didn't like, which I feel like dumbed down. The whole concept of Solomon, you, you know, because conceptually it's a very good album. Uh, I do think he took some time into writing some of the songs. Some of them did feel a bit rushed. 
uh, there was that search for the hits that never landed? I don't think he was he was searching for th this album is is too musical. I don't think he was there's no he didn't chase that bubblegum sound. Zero and eight. That's not a bubblegum sound. What is it? I think it's it's it's, it's drill. It's yeah, drill it's music. Dri it, 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 it's, it's drill popping in South Africa. No, but it's like what else would Casper make a dope song from with McClara? Of an album like this, like this album is very musical. Yeah, the but album that, is very but musical. But that's zero one eight. That's a club banger. Yeah, but I'm saying, it's I'm saying, he could have. From the if if he was chasing for a hit, he could have used lock drum or something or something that's that that's bubble coming out there. Okay, you're saying he didn't go piano, is what you're saying? Grand shop. I'm saying he didn't go bubble gum. He didn't go piano. He didn't go bubble gum. Zero one eight is bubble gum. No, it's not. The verses, but the song itself. Come on. That's the trappy shit, man. Come on. That, no, we, it's drill. It sounds exactly like the other drill song that but, he made. But I'm saying, but I'm saying, the name. Fuck. but I'm saying drill is not a big sound in South Africa. If he was chasing for a hit, he was going to run after a big sound. Okay. I hear you. Yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, I felt like with that one, it was a bit of a chase. Yeah. It didn't go with the rest of the album Rating. for me. Aish, you go first. You go Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Damn, that's friendly. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Okay, that's There's you. a couple of skips there for me. Me, there was no skips. Zero. Zero skips. Zero one eight. Zero one eight, <laughs> nigga. Zero one eight. All right. Shout out. That's Nine out of up. ten. Shout Casper out to Solomon. Solomon. Go check buy it out. the album if you haven't heard it. If you're from wherever you're from in the world, go check let's out. Do next. Let's do your vest. Let's do nasty next. We might as well. The niggas drop same time. Kumbaya shit. Next episode we're doing next. What happens to realness, dog, in the game where you're like, you know what? If this nigga drops same day, I'm going to murder him. I'm going to murder him. It's that Sales. Kumbaya. It's that Kumbaya. But whatever, man. Big shout out to the tour, African tour. I'm hoping it's still going around. I know Iverson is coming up soon. Casper might fill up some shit soon again. Uh, so big shout out to the homies. They're working very hard. And we're, com we're coming to Mpumalanga this November for the master class. Word. Where, Gonje? Uh, Leandra. Like an oh. hour away from Weedbank. How are we pulling up? We're coming through MP. I've been seeing people saying, is it Nas Braid? Nah, is it? Oh, it's la, la, la. not. Is it? It's not. So now you've given it up. Yeah, it's Leandro. Pause. <laughs> All right, cool, man. We'll see you guys next week Friday. Comment section. Drop your music for the free period. If you want us to feature you on the free period, please hit us up on the comment section. Drop your link, your YouTube link for your music. Otherwise, we can't spin it out here on the show, man. Otherwise, from my side, winner, I'm, I'm out. out of here, man. Peace.